everyone, Tom here with a quick look at Fallout 76 with its latest update installed. Patch 1.02 landed on PS4 and Xbox One, which Bethesda claims will fix select glitches and performance issues of the launch build. And so I thought I'd dip into each console in turn, if only briefly, to see what's changed. Before we get to that though, let's talk about the sheer size of this update. It's massive, a 47GB download on console, a marked difference from the 15GB update on PC. But looking at PS4 as an example, it really doesn't make much sense that it's so large. Consider this, Fallout 76 takes up 53GB before the patch, and yet despite updating it with 47GB of data, it doesn't stack on top of this. The final file size is still only 53.2GB, with the patch installed only 200 megabytes more than it was before. Clearly then, Bethesda's updating the game's files, but also replacing much of the data you already have installed. All the textures, sound files, and more fit into that same package. The problem? Well, the way it's been organized as an install pack is wasting every player's time. There must be a more logical way to sort through the data we do and don't already have. It's a tedious way to go about it, and ideally not how patches should work in the future. Alright, so that's that, but what does patch 1.02 actually do in practice? A standout problem with Fallout 76 is the performance lurches going down to 20fps and under on PS4, and even Xbox One X. Now this is by no means a comprehensive test, more of a quick dive in to give you a sample of what's changed on each. The first thing I checked was the top of the world resort of our first analysis. On Xbox One X before this patch, I had dips to as low as 15fps and even 10fps with heavy stuttering bolted on top to create some shocking dips. With that in mind, it's a surprise to see Xbox One X, with the update installed, runs this area flawlessly. The frame rate is fine here at least, all might not be well across the game, but it's a good sign so far. Now some caveats here, the trouble with Fallout 76 testing is frame rates are so variable and often without clear reason. The networking conditions, time of day and even local events all change between playthroughs, hence why the base Xbox One seemingly ran this area better than X in our first round of tests. It's impossible to reproduce the conditions between each run and so it's best judged on the overall experience rather than select points. With that in mind, X may be improved but there's still potential for bigger drops. Here's an example of that variability in action on base PS4. This console had major issues at this same point too, of course. Locks to 20fps and lurches under were an issue, but seemingly it doesn't cause that issue with patch 1.02 installed, or at least not on this playthrough. The big stutters and hitches are still a nuisance, but the baseline performance is certainly better. But here's the catch, as soon as I walk away from this spot, looking across a string of ski lifts pushes PS4 down to 20fps again. This is again a sign console performance is variable from spot to spot, and spikes as aggressive as this are easy to bump into. While one area is potentially fixed then, the performance across the game is still an issue in Fallout 76 and it needs to be addressed. The ballpark performance is still poor on PS4. Putting more time into the campaign, battles show horrendous slowdown, even patched, with frame time spikes all over the place on the left graph. Pulling the trigger on any gun, and especially full automatics, will chew into frame rates until the clip's unloaded. So what that means is, the one moment you need that solid performance is taken away from you. Taking down enemies with grenades makes it plummet further on PS4, and it becomes too erratic to hold your target reticle on any enemy for much longer than a second. This was a problem in Fallout 4, but it can't go on like this for an online game where team play is a factor. Any combat with weapons more powerful than a handgun just seems to tank performance. Next there's the stutters. It's a problem on every console, even on patch 1.02. This is something that's pointed out as improved in Bethesda's patch notes, but using PS4 as an example, I see absolutely no change here. In fact, these hitches are so common and extreme, the frame time graph can barely read the extent of the drop at times. It happens at the worst times too, evading enemies, switching guns, or just moving into a new area triggers a sharp drop in any feedback. Some of this is likely down to logging progress, Say if you're approaching a new location, you'll get a note marking the discovery, which usually cues a hiccup. Potentially the game will improve the longer you play it, in this sense, but you only get to make a first impression once, 
and it's frustrating that finding anywhere new will trigger such choppy performance. Okay, so let's take a peek into another version, PS4 Pro. The top of the world area ran just fine before the patch, and so goes after as well. But Pro did struggle using weapons with augmentations like that fire effect. Loading that up again, Bethesda certainly not solved the problem. This isn't an unreasonable amount to show on screen. The fire effect is an unremarkable fire transparency, and there's really not much else going on. And yet take fire and it's impossible to aim. This is just exceptionally poor, and again it's the point at which frame times really do matter. Even if we're pushing the engine a bit, these are the moments where having choppy motion affects gameplay. This isn't what I had in mind when downloading a 47GB update. Fortunately, the basic resolution metrics stay the same. It's a dynamic 1080p on Xbox One and PS4, 1440p on Pro, and 4K on Xbox One X. There's really been no visible compromise visually, but neither has there been much gain in the wider scheme of its performance. That lows of 15fps are possible, coupled with those hitches, makes even an enhanced console like PS4 Pro here a bit of a disappointment. Last but not least, I booted up the Xbox One S. Forget taking on enemies, just walking through the ski town resort cues some aggressive hitching which makes the entire stretch difficult to walk down. The likeliest cause is, assets are being drawn in off screen. Even with that in mind, the base Xbox One performance is still woeful. We have three enemies, one of whom isn't even moving. The AI looks as dumbfounded by the performance as we do when playing it. All of this amounts to shooting mechanics that fundamentally do not work. A lot has been made of the revised VAT system, which no longer slows play down when targeting an enemy. Now Fallout 4's frame rate could struggle, but the VAT mode was a great alternative way to play, letting you mimic the slower pace of an RPG. You could avoid the sluggish shooting by just opting to run through it with this more methodical approach. But in Fallout 76, that's really not an option. The emphasis is on real-time action, and by extension, more than ever you're at the mercy of its frame rate, whether that's 30 FPS or under. The performance on every console still needs work then. As for the glitches, well in terms of its visuals, at least there's still a lot of rough edges to address. Clipping and poor collision detection lead to characters floating above the ground, or objects being virtually immaterial. For example, branches can become see-through, letting you target straight through their main trunk. And then there are the odd moments, the static enemies, and effects that don't work as they should. It's bizarre, the game's littered with small visual bugs like this that betray this idea it's a AAA release. And then there's the more obvious points, like the texture pop-in. Even basic mapping for rock and trees just don't load in for several seconds. You can get right up close and still be staring at a low-grade placeholder asset for a good 5 seconds, before the high-res texture swaps in. That is, if it ever does. Scenery in the distance, especially right at the start, shows heavy popping on buildings too. At range or up close, there's no sense of consistency here. Everything combined, it's a really disappointing turnout. I got my hopes up looking at the file size of this patch. At 47GB, you'd suspect a pretty substantial overhaul is coming your way. But no, the fact is this is more a hotfix for outstanding issues in mission design and the online balance. On the audiovisual side, every version is prone to glaring visual glitches, hiccups and performance drops. Now given the online nature of the game, this is no doubt the first of many updates, but let's just hope it doesn't involve such a huge download for what amounts to a relatively small change. Anyway, that's all from me today. There's been a lot of commotion surrounding Fallout 76's state at launch, and I figured it was worth dipping in for a quick test on all machines. If there is anything you'd like to see checked that we have missed, do give us a comment. Otherwise, if you do appreciate the work we do at Digital Foundry, feel free to give us a like or even subscribe. And to get notice of our videos as soon as they land, don't forget to hit the bell. Every video we produce is also uploaded to our Patreon at digitalfoundry.net, supposing you want the pristine source file. And for direct contact, just use Twitter. Until next time though, thanks for watching.